Little Joe the Wrangler was written by Jack Thorpe. Jack Thorpe came down from New York when he was a young man. Like apparently a lot of these young guys did from back east. They wanted to go west and be cowboys. So he comes out to New Mexico. And of course, the part of New Mexico that he was in had once been part of Texas when it was the Republic of Texas. So there's still a lot of Texas cowboys. Texas cowboys were the ones, in my opinion, that sort of developed cowboy music. Well, Jack Thorpe was a great cowboy, but he was also an educated fellow. He also knew how to write music. He just got the idea one day that he wanted to collect cowboy music and uh, didn't even know what he'd do with that collection. But he eventually put out a book called Songs of the Cowboys. This was probably the first book that was a published collection of cowboy music in history. Jack Thorpe wrote a really interesting autobiography that was published in the late 1940s. And in it, he said that his first collecting trip for cowboy songs happened uh, in Roswell, New Mexico. He came over a hill, it was getting dark, and he heard cowboys singing around a campfire, and he thought, this is a great opportunity. To his surprise, all of the cowboys were African Americans. After the Civil War, the slaves were freed in the South, but they only had 40 acres and a mule and no capital. They weren't able to get off the ground as farmers very well that way, so most of them said to heck with this, I'm going to Texas. So they organized all black crews and they would rent themselves out as a unit to trail bosses. As Thorpe rode over the hill into Roswell that night and heard the black cowboys singing their songs, he joined them and he said that he collected more cowboy songs in that one first trip than he did in any of the other times that he was collecting cowboy music. When the book was published, which was in the early 1900s, it wasn't a widely popular book. He mostly just sent it to his friends. He also added a couple of things in the book that were his own compositions. Uh, Little Joe the Wrangler is one of those songs. But he didn't give himself credit for it because by then, a lot of the cowboys were already singing it. So he just considered that another one of the songs of the cowboys. Later on, John Lomax, a folklorist from the University of Texas, published a really popular book with an introduction by Theodore Roosevelt about cowboy music. This was really a big hit book. He included Little Joe the Wrangler in it. When Lomax said this was just a folk song, apparently Jack Thorpe wrote a letter to Lomax, and we won't mention the language that was used in that letter uh, in a production like this. Little Joe the Wrangler is a very similar song to When the Work's All Done This Fall. The Work's All Done This Fall is again about a cowboy who loses his life. But in that song, it's an older man who volunteers to stop the herd. Little Joe the Wrangler brings out a point that we don't think about very often today, and that is that the average age of a cowboy in the 19th century was 16, 17, 18 years old. You were pretty much done by the time you were 25. 30 years old was an old man. These young cowboys were daring. And in this song, a young cowboy volunteers to try to stop the stampede. But in the rain and the darkness, his horse slips down. And of course, he's trampled to death. It's a poignant moment in the song when the boss decides to take on this orphan kid who's run away from his family because there's violence in the family and these new paws beating him every day or two as the song says. I think originally the original song it's his ma that's beating him every day or two. The, I learned it as his paw beating him every day or two. So this is my version. This is the way I learned it uh, in the 1950s when I was a kid learning cowboy music in Texas. Uh, so this is not exactly the pure exact language that was in the original song but I think uh, you can get the meaning from this. Uh, Little Joe the Wrangler losing his life uh, was something that made a big impression, apparently, on Jack Thorpe. I was just a kid when I first heard Little Joe the Wrangler. I saw Marty Robbins perform it, and it was on his classic album, Gunfighter Ballads. So he popularized it in the modern era. 
Here is one of the great cowboy songs of all time and my personal favorite of all time in the cowboy genre, Little Joe the Wrangler. Call him Little Joe the Wrangler, he'll wrangle nevermore. His days on the Remuda, they are done. Was a year ago last April, he rode him to our camp. Just a little Texas stray all alone It was long late in the evening When he rode into our camp On a little old brown pony he called Cho Brogan shoes and overalls A tougher looking kid You never in your life ever saw Now Saddle was a Texas cat Made many years ago with an okay spur on one foot idly slung His hot roll in a cotton sack Loosely tied behind His canteen on the saddle horn was slung He said he had to leave his home His ma had married twice His new pa beat him every day or two So he saddled up old Shaw one night And let his shut this way now he's trying to paddle his own canoe He said if we would give him work Do the best he could Though he didn't know straight up about a cow So the boss cut him out a mount And kindly put him on For we sort of like this little kid somehow Taught him how to wrangle horses, know them all by name, and get them in by daybreak if he could. To follow the chuck wagon and always hitch the team, and it helped the course of narrow Russell Wood. We were camped out at Red River, the weather being fine, down by the south side of a bend. When I know this started blowing And we doubled up our guard For it took all hands to keep the cattle in Little Joe the Wrangler Was called out with the rest Scarcely had the kid reach the herd When the cattle all stampeded Like a hailstorm long we fled And all of us was riding for the Beneath the streaks of lightning, you could see a horse ahead. It was Little Joe, the Wrangler in the lead. He was riding old Blue Rocket with a slicker over his head, trying to check the leaders in their speed. At last we got them milling, kinda quieted down, and the extra guard back to the camp did go. But one of us was missing, and we knew it at a glance. It was our little Texas stray, poor Ranger Joe. Next morning, just at daybreak, we found where Rocket fell. In a washout 40 feet below. Beneath his horse mashed to a pulp, his spur had rung the nail. Was our little Texas Dray Poor Wrangler Joe